Hi, and welcome to... Oh, shit. Hi, and welcome to my kitchen. This is going to be a new segment on my channel where I cook stuff. I may or may not be under the influence of some alcohol. So I'm going to attempt to cook while drunk. Anyway, so today I'm going to cook up some chow mein. It might not be chow mein at all because whatever I'm doing, I'm just grabbing whatever from the supermarket and just cooking. So I've got my five fruits and vegetables. Tomato, capsicum, a carrot, whoops, celery, oh man, and onion. So I chopped up my carrot. I heard that capsicum seeds are poisonous, so we won't eat them. Damn it, I didn't even peel the onion. I've been crying because I chopped up the onion. <sighs> okay. Okay, so an important kitchen safety tip is make sure you wash your hands with hygienic soap and make sure you wash your vegetables before you do this because I clearly didn't. Never leave the kitchen unattended. While waiting for your meat to cook, why don't you go and get wasted? Actually, maybe it's a good idea to boil your carrot. And then, just chuck all your carrot into the saucepan. Actually, there's a bit of capskin in here. I might take that out. And then just chuck the carrots on the stove as well. Just let them boil for a bit. Actually, I should have chucked the carrots on earlier. Damn it. Another important tip for whenever you're in the kitchen is to make sure you have parental supervision if you're under the age of 12. Because a lot of time, kids seem to stuff up their kitchens and seem to set the whole kitchen on fire. And you don't want that in your kitchen at all. It's clearly unsafe. And you should not be drinking while you cook as well if you're a 12 year old. I've heard a lot of stories where kids have blown up their kitchens while their parents have been at work, you know. It's just not the safest practice to do while you're in the kitchen. Why don't we see how the carrots are coming along? Yeah, them carrots are boiling. So yeah, just give the meat a bit of a toss and make sure it's coming along just fine. Nah, I don't need clean jocks. I've got enough underwear to last me till um, next Saturday. Yeah. Hey, so your meat is just about brown. And I'm probably well overdue, but now it's time to add your vegetables. Now, you mix all the vegetables. Oh wait, I forgot the carrot. Okay, so now we're gonna let that sit for a bit, but I've overcooked the meat. So we're just gonna mix the vegetables around. Oh, fuck. I think I needed a bigger fry pan. Oh, hey, I was just sending Snapchats to people. My kitchen rules, 2K15, eat your heart out. So like, on the back of this packet, it had a list of how to make this space and I don't have everything on here so I'm just gonna pour it straight in and then cook for three minutes. I don't care, fuck whatever. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna add to the meal is noodles. Just chuck them in. Then you're gonna wanna stir them in. I mean, stir them in. A lot of this has to be the longest meal I've ever made. Like, I'm starving. I should have actually followed instructions before putting this stuff in. 
I don't even know if that looks like chow mein. That looks more like a stir fry than chow mein. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like I've cooked everything up. So wait for it or let it cook for a further three minutes. And in the meantime, make sure you make another celebrational drink. It will make you feel more happy and pleased that you've been able to cook and defend for yourself. It's just the way things are these days. It's just, you gotta make sure you can look after yourself. This has been Drunk Cooking with Rob. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.